Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Welcome to Winner Home Live on SABC3, where the stage is yours. I'm Tavi Soma Kubela. Indeed, I'm Danilo Aquisto, and you've tuned into South Africa's premier interior design and decor reality show, where we follow three design duos as they transform empty apartments into dream homes at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. You good? Ah, I'm good, as man. As we match today, this blue seems to be the theme and the color. Will it's our design fair. duos follow suit? Well, they're better. Are well, they suit, better? Suit anyone? No. <laughs> but it's all up to you guys at home because at the end of the series, you could walk away with your very own choice of one of the three completed apartments as our grand prize winner. Uh, and if you enter the grand prize competition over the past week, you're also eligible to be a weekly winner in our Capitec Open the Door giveaway later in the show, where you could win either a 2,000 rand car uh, Carol Boyce voucher, voucher, a mere show ahead with 3,600 rand from flush bathrooms, or a 5,000 rand Valance voucher. Plus, you have a second chance to win tonight by answering a simple Samsung product related question you could win the Gear Sport watch worth 5,000 Rand. Mm, it doesn't stop there and as a Capitec client you stand a chance of winning an additional cash prize which listen to this has yep. been rolled over from last week and tonight it totals a whopping 10 thousand rand if you haven't yet entered you better do so right now go to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo there you can enter once per day and to be eligible for tonight's prizes you have until 7 45 p.m to get it done uh, let's get the show on the road this week the design duos kick off a new challenge but before we get into that here's a recap of what you missed out on previously on win at home in a daring double challenge up front, design duos had the mammoth task of completing both spare rooms. Had we done this yesterday, we wouldn't have this problem today. Team RK dazzled the judges with their glam room concept. I think it's spectacular. Team Contrast Controls showed off an impressive amount of custom design in their studio space. I think the word everyone is looking for here is eclectic. And the Perma Peeps gave the judges more than they bargained for with a creative multifunctional room. That spare room was amazing. The judges reached a stalemate and in the end, Team Contrast Control and Team RNK shared the victory. Oh man, a double challenge and a double win up front. But the design duos really hit the ground running there in their first round. But in this competition, there's little time to rest. Let's head back to Part of Lay to find out what challenge they will face next. Design duos, once again, congratulations on completing your first challenge last week. It's the start of a new week and we are waiting to hear what the challenge is for this week. This time though, we want the whole thing. Stoked about the win last week and we just want to keep up the momentum and get going again. We have started off on a good foot this week and we're excited to find out our new challenge. For this challenge, you'll have to flush away all your concerns and stresses from the last challenge because yet again, it's a double challenge. Okay, another double challenge. This should really be an interesting one. Not again. I mean, can they give us a break? First it was a double win, now it's a double challenge. It's too much doubleness. Design duos, you'll be designing and decorating both bathrooms. That's your guest bathroom and your master ensuite. Uh, very unexpected but we're still very stoked about it because, yeah, we're still going to keep it rolling as much as we can. To get some inspiration, let's browse private property. As you can see, potential home buyers are looking for quality. That is tiles, taps and sandware. The bathroom is a sanctuary and needs to be the perfect balance between functionality and design aesthetic. To add to this advice, you'll also receive a mentor with a wealth of wisdom. She's renowned in South Africa for her interior design and has also been featured on Top Billing. It's none other than Karen Marsden. Duos, remember that every challenge brings you one step closer to that 100,000 Rand cash prize as the judge's choice design winner. What are you waiting for? Get to it and good luck.
Oh. Hello, I'm Karen. Hi, Karen, I'm Sinead. Nice to meet you. I'm Karen Marsden, I'm an interior designer and I'm the owner of Karen Marsden Interiors. I work mainly in residential and I have done quite a number of health spas. It's such a different experience. Residential is far more emotional. You're dealing with creating someone's home, a place for their family. Working on something like a spa is a commercial decision. There are things you need to consider that you wouldn't do in creating a home. I like to design spaces that have points of interest, little surprises, something here, something there, that you notice differently every time you enter that space. When designing a bathroom, you really do need to be practical. Of course you want it to look beautiful, but it does have to be hardy and durable and make sense. The type of material you use is also important when uh, designing a bathroom. I'm really excited about being a mentor on the show and hopefully I can share some good information or valuable advice that they'll be able to use. It's lovely to meet Karen. We're excited to show her our concept and we're excited to show her the final result as well. Well, I see you've got quite a nice space and a good canvas to start your work on. Yes. What are you thinking of doing here? Our vision at the moment is to create quite a lush cave-like space. Lots of greenery and very simple and minimalist. I'm planning on bringing in a lot of live, alive features, so much so that even the bath mat's going to be alive. Love that idea. So if you're planning on using a lot of natural greenery, how are you going to deal with that in terms of extraction and fresh flow of air? Thankfully, these apartments have been designed with lovely big windows in the bathroom, so there's lots of natural light coming in and also the option to open up the window to allow for natural airflow. Just a couple of pointers if I may. You want to create this tropical environment, it's going to be warm, it's going to be lush. Consider the materials you use, your timber breathes, it also swells. So just consider those things. If we end up bringing um, hardwood or wood into the space, we'll definitely oil it and treat it accordingly to accommodate for the natural moisture in the wet room space that is a bathroom. Yeah. Lighting? With the lighting, we're going to get all of our materials in and then see what aesthetically is going to be the most pleasing once we've got everything in place. We'll obviously make sure that it's steam proof because you are in a wet room. And yeah, it's going to look lovely, I think. Well, I look forward to seeing the outcome of this. Lots of luck. A female mentor. Oh, great. I think that's just exactly what we need. Yeah. You know, she, she's going to get the just girl power. Yeah. So, we're in this bathroom. What are you thinking of doing here? Oh, wow, we were thinking we'd have two personalities for the two bathrooms, one for the guest and one for the master bedroom. Okay, that's interesting. So with our guest bathroom, we've decided to go with some of the colours we've used in our bedroom, uh, which of course would be black. A lot of black, it's chic, it's contemporary, we want that to continue throughout, so that both the bedroom and the bathroom complement each other. Great, and your main bathroom? We have so many ideas, we're still working on them. For our wall in the bathroom, we're thinking of using half tile and half paint. Maybe we could go with tiling on the floor, tiling on the wall, but half of the wall so that we can do paint for the rest of the wall. And then just think about your wall finish, your paint finish, not to use a matte colour, use something with a bit of texture, a bit of movement, and that just gives a little bit more interest to the bathroom space. Oh, I like okay. that. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Yeah. I think it will give That's our viewers cool. something to look at. Yeah. All right. We, we love Karen. Karen. I mean, uh, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. And she came with like some solid advice that we could possibly use for this next challenge. Yeah. Team Warren Care, two lovely young women who are excitable and are keen to learn and they want great information. But they need to understand in this business you need to be very organized, you need to plan up front, and I really hope that they're gonna pull it off. Karen. Karen Marsden has a lot of experience, so it should be interesting to see what she has to say to our ideas and the advice that she has. Tell me what you're doing here. Yeah, so this is our, our color palette for the bathroom, and, and that's the sort of effect we want to apply it with. And we want to apply it to the wall um, behind the door, so that when you're looking into the vanity mirror, you're getting that reflection. And then going with a simple pastel towel for behind the vanity, and then um, going up into a grey paint. A bit of Caesar stone in our vanity, and a bit of uh, timber 
For our main bathroom, we were thinking of carrying the same kind of language but bringing in more earthly tones and more organic shapes rather than geometric shapes and bringing in a bit of warmth with timber slats that run on the floor, on the walls and on the ceilings too and bringing in some Caesar stone elements also. So same, same, just different. I understand, I can see what you guys are doing. Uh, firstly, I think this is unbelievably well thought through and planned. In terms of your wall treatment, I think this is a perfect place to bring in some wallpaper. You've got some great ideas there, and it's a perfect opportunity to get something custom designed. Oh, that's a great idea, and we were wondering kind of if that's possible because we were like going to paint that maybe or something, so that, that'll save us and actually really achieve what we were going for there, which would be amazing. Well, I've got someone amazing who does a lot of work for me and does a lot of designs like this. I'll put you in touch with her. We had a very productive first meeting with Karen. Uh, a lot of ideas flying around, uh, a lot of advice. And she hooked us up with a very cool collaborator for our wallpaper. Wow, these guys have really planned. They've given a lot of thought and their ideas are pretty impressive. They've got a lot to achieve and I hope they can finish it in the amount of time that they have. Let that inner critic out and use the hashtag WinnerHome. Share your thoughts with us on Twitter. Now make sure you also enter our grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za. That way you stand a chance of winning your choice of one of the three apartments as completed by our design duos. Plus you'll automatically be entered into the weekly Capitech Open the Door giveaway, but you only have until 7.45 p.m. to be eligible for tonight's draw. So you better hurry up and enter right now, because we'll be right back. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back. You're live on Winner Home on SABC3. Now, should we start with the bad news, dude? Okay, what's the bad news? We should start with the bad news. What is the bad news? I'm sorry. Your chances for to be eligible for tonight's Capitech Open the Door giveaway are officially over. Over. Yeah, it's gone past mm. 7.45, but you can still vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za mm. and be entered into the weekly draw for next week, Thursday's that's giveaway. Right, that's right. Well, for each challenge on this season of Winner Home, the duos are given the task of collaborating with a local designer to create a bespoke piece for their spaces. The key is to design something that will not only visually wow the judges, but also add value to their property. We're at the Caesar Stone warehouse, picking out our unique slabs. It's like slab alley in here. All of the slabs. All of it. So this is the excavator, which you know quite well already. Oh yes, we've actually used this in our window boxes for our two bedrooms. We love the finish, but I think just maybe a little bit too much color for this challenge. We're going for something a bit more monotone. What I would suggest then is the airy concrete. Still has the industrial look. It's in our Metropolitan collection, but it's got a lot more subdued color and base coat. It's beautiful, but we're looking for like a very light and a very dark. Okay. I I think I want to show you the rugged concrete and the cloudburst concrete, which might work perfectly together if that's what you're looking for. Perfect. So this is the rugged concrete over here. You can give it a feel, it feels incredible. Sure, and I love the movement throughout that slab. And that's exactly why I'm glad you're here. Because each slab is different, you've got to see it in full scale before you choose which one you like. So you can actually see the movement and the varying gradients. And I really love the cloudburst concrete because it's a great contrast to the rugged because it has the movement and the texture in it. The texture is incredible. It feels like it's a concrete finish, but it's still non-porous, so it's perfect for bathrooms. Now, we're loving these two colors together, but we're also maybe looking for something a bit more classic to kind of way against these. If you're looking to bring in a more timeless classic element with the industrial look, the marble inspired colors would be perfect for that. So let's have a look here. Yes. These are very good examples of our marble inspired colors. This is the Moorland Fog. This is very beautiful, but it's a bit too busy for what we're going for. Okay. Um, how about the Mont Blanc over here? A bit more cleaner. You're loving the glass finish and the veininess of this. Just maybe if there's a, like a cleaner undertone. Guys, can we lift the slab? So that slab lifts and it's just like, that white atkins is definitely us. 
Oh, it's everything right now. This is perfect actually because you could use it for a vanity top. If you're looking for a vanity, this is definitely the colour you want to use because it comes in a thinner 13mm as well. So for cladding, it's the perfect match. Brilliant. I'm glad you like it. That base is a lot cleaner than the Mont Blanc. Super crisp and I love the way the vein pops. Megan from Caesarstone has been very helpful. That was a great visit. We're just very keen to see how all of that looks together in that space. Yeah. Our collaboration for the bathroom challenge is with Sue Kingma from Nuno Indoor Plants. She's going to be helping us to create beautiful moss balls that we're going to hang throughout our bathroom spaces. I'm Sue Kingma. I'm a plant designer. I work with indoor plants for offices and homes and I supply decor stores and a nursery in Joburg. Moss balls are quite special. They're, it's about a 200 year old practice. It's an art form. It's a form of bonsai. The Japanese name is kokodama, which literally means moss ball. Our mix is a special mix. You can't use any soil to make a moss ball. What's the special ingredients? Aha! <laughs> that we don't tell people. It took me more than a year to perfect it. Sue is an absolutely wonderful woman. I honestly wish we could just take her home and keep her in the cupboards and she can just make moss balls the whole time. <laughs> you can use all sorts of plants. Um, what kind of plants would you particularly want? We are aiming to increase the oxygen in the space and to use the plants to just make people feel better in a psychological sense where nature makes people feel relaxed. We always love getting our hands dirty and hands on in projects, especially when you get to work with greenery. Oh, it's just the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> With the windows we have, with one bathroom's west facing and one's east facing, what would you recommend plant-wise? With the one that's east facing, you can do your whole fern scene. You can do Hoyas, your delicious monster, your philodendron saloon, your philodendron scandapsis, the trailing ones. So you've got a whole selection you can do there. It can be very mossy and very cave-like. The one with west facing, you're going to have to be more careful. And I would tend to use those that go more towards the succulenty things that can go indoors, tougher plants, definitely. Nuno's moss balls are going to bring such life and lusciousness into our space. They are so amazing for air purification and for enhancing the oxygen in the space. I'm so excited to see the end result. There you go. Thank you so much. We are so excited to have your beautiful moss balls all throughout our space. And I will be so excited to see them hanging there. <laughs> So for our big collaboration, we're going with Emma, the new modernist. I mean, her work is beautiful. It speaks for itself. It's more eclectic. She collects antiques and then she just refurbishes them, you know, yes. and upcycle. So that's something that we would like to go into. We have a space in the master bathroom that is just vacant and we wanted her to play with height and dimension. And we've decided that she's going to make us a cabinet for design purposes. But also in terms of aesthetic, we're bringing some colour, you know. These judges don't know what's coming their way. Hello, baby! Oh, oh, you scared God. me! Oh, Hi, Emma! Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, Emma. I'm Hi. Gopi. My goodness! My name is Emma Decrepany and I am the new modernist. What we do here is three things. We are dealers in mid-century furniture. We take mid-century furniture and refurbish it. And we make new furniture in mid-century style. So what can I do for you? We saw your work on Instagram and we love what you do. And this is exactly what I do in Johannesburg, actually. I love pre-loved furniture and upcycling of things. So we believe this is a match made in heaven. Yeah, I mean, we've got this vacant space in the bathroom that we would like to fill. And we're thinking a cabinet, maybe, mm. you know, just for storage purposes. Towels, some robes, some tissues, and toilet rolls. I mean, something fabulous, but functional. I have, I have just a thing for you. Oh, Let's go to the back. Let's okay. see. <laughs> I got into this because I love mid-century furniture. I love the fact it's high quality and it's well made and has a st certain style to it that I think is fantastic. I know these look like dusty old cupboards, but I think we could actually refurbish them and make them really beautiful. We could maybe put doors. Uh... Well, we're actually thinking of using some color, you know? We just want to create some bold contrasts. OK. 
Okay, well, I think we could use car paint. What? Car paint? Wow. Yeah, it's actually called lacquering, but it's what we do in our furniture here, and it gives a beautiful high gloss finish. We are so excited, you know, for our collaboration with Emma. She just gets it. It's a little things, you know. We share ideas. She's just given us like nice palettes yeah. of colors in terms of like how color palette to paint. And I'm so excited to see the final product. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Great, we okay. can't wait to see what's going to happen. All right. Bye bye. I think these two girls are great contestants. I think they have really good ideas, and I think it's going to be a good collaboration. Well, that's what she thinks. What do you think of our design duo's bathroom collaborations? Let us know on social media and use the hashtag WinnerHome. Some of the comments that came through from Pico, he says, WinnerHome, I'm confident to tell that I'm behind Team Contrast Control. I know the guys are going to do the things that are unique. Uh, Najuma says, Team RNK, take note of the tips you're getting. I'm surely uh, going to, there's going to be uh, useful for you in the long run. And then Miss Page says, can't wait to see Team Contrast Control's bathroom. They have a bunch of great and interesting ideas. Hashtag WinnerHome. Dural says, uh, when I'm home, I'm backing perma peeps all the way. Uh, and then D, was your, your Twitter handle is Pike86, says, uh, couldn't wait for when I'm home show to start. The wait was way too long. Uh, I can do with tonight's prize a shower head. Go team RNK! Hashtag when I'm home. And then uh, Tamar says, watching my favorite program yet again. Hashtag when I'm home. Private property, Samsung Mobile, Capitec Bank SA, and SABC3. Thanks so much for all of these tweets and all the others that have come through. If you want yours to be read out uh, on television tonight, then make sure you use the hashtag win a home. After the break, we check out what Team Contrast Control have planned for their bathroom collaboration, so you stay right where you are. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitech. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. We are live and get involved with the action on hashtag Winner Home on Twitter. Now, bringing unique and bespoke design elements to their spaces is crucial if the duos want to impress the judges and, of course, you at home. And that's exactly what the duos have in mind for their bathrooms. Now, Caesar Stone is finally here, and Magma Surfaces is here. They are the accredited fabricators and they're going to be installing our wall cladding which is going to be in stone, our floors and our window boxes from our previous challenge idea. Should be looking very delicious after that. Okay, with a guy's bathroom, the use of the Caesar stone on the walls for wall cladding in the shower is very good. And then obviously doing the floors in the same product with the same colour and the entrances into the shower is very good. Our little secret surprise that's going into the master bathroom is going to be our custom designed Caesar stone cave with our infrared sauna inside it. They do have their job quite cut out for them, but thankfully they are a Caesar stone accredited fabricator, so we're not too worried about it. We were asked to do the dry sauna, which is one of the first we've ever done. Um, it was quite a challenge to do. It takes a lot of cladding, especially on the walls, obviously, as you can see, uh, using a cloud burst Caesar stone. And we just got to finish off the edges and it would be perfect for if you get out the shower and you want to dry yourself off and heat yourself up. Our collaborator for the bathroom challenge is Cara Sabin. She's renowned for her custom wallpaper designs. And we basically just want to add some flair to our bathroom with some custom wallpaper, juxtaposing some sketchy images on the wallpaper just to add that little thing. So guys, I'm so excited that you've decided to use wallpaper in your space, besides the fact that it's totally on trend and is used in almost every interior today. The fact that you've decided to use it in your bathrooms is most exciting to me. It expresses who you are to the people that come into your home. So I lit up the guest bathroom. Uh, so we wanted like a very playful geometric feel in this room and we went with some very light colors, uh, like a very light feel, some pastels, and then we like kind of contrasted that with some natural tones. For the main bathroom, we're thinking of bringing more natural tones with the earthly colors that you see over here and just bringing in way more organic shapes other than the geometric shapes in the guest bathroom. I love your ideas, I think they're great. I think you just need to remember one or two things. Number one, when it comes to color, what you see over here 
is not necessarily what you'll see on the wall unless you specify Pantone colors for me. So I need you guys to go and give me exact Pantones. The other thing is that when you're on your main bathroom, you've got more than one wall, okay? When you've got these geometric lines that are going down, you need to consider the fact that we cannot get them exact on your corners because no wall is dead straight. Awesome, that's, that's really great advice. And also, one element we wanted to add into the main bathroom is getting a way more illustration kind of feel just to juxtapose the wallpaper. So just layering it on top of the wallpaper to give a different dimension. I think that's a great idea. I think that'll break with the geometric pattern. And I've actually got one right here that you guys can look at and we can potentially take one of those elements out and use it for yours. Want to come see? I love getting involved um, at inception stage and helping people to take an idea and to transform it into something that can really have a large impact on their interior. Oh wow, this is amazing. Sure. This is exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, we love this uh, sort of sketchy effect and we really wanted to bring in like something organic, like we were thinking a bird or... Think about the fact that you guys have got a lot of vertical lines and a bird um, may not work as well. Consider maybe a tree um, to keep with those vertical lines and you still have your organic element there. That's a great idea actually. Wow, this has been super productive. I think we're really onto something here. Fantastic. So let's get cracking and good luck guys. Super stoked about our, our meeting with Cara. Uh, we're so excited to see what, what the final product comes out like. Very happy with what we agreed on today. We off to shopping to pick our taps at Flush. We're so excited to see what they have. Oh, hi. Here at Flush we have a huge variety of products from your taps to your baths to your toilets to your basins. This I see that you're looking at, this is very basic, your chrome, what you put in like a standard kind of home. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, well, we were looking for something more bold, more daring. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is nice, but we don't want people to step into our space and say nice. We want them to step in and say, wow. Yeah. Do you have any color palettes maybe that we can work with, shapes and just exciting things we can work with? Definitely, mm. I have something for you guys. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I think this is what you guys are looking for. The amazing. Yeah. This is our Mir Matte Black range. Very bold, very trendy. And we actually have two new ranges that have just launched. The first finish is your champagne, which is like a, a brushed rose gold. Mm -hmm. And then for a more classical look, we have the Tiger Brown. I'm thinking, would we be allowed to take more than one finish? Oh no, I definitely think we can. We just do double double. Yeah. <laughs> Surprises. A double challenge, a double, double. palette. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Hello, good to see you. Good. It's really good to see Karen again. And it's good because this time we have a plan of action. So, is this what you've chosen for your bathroom? Yes. Uh, we wanted to go for a more contemporary uh, look. So we decided to go with this because it, it does scream contemporary. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, and interestingly enough, it's also timeless. Black has just become the new classic, you know? So we're excited to see how that comes across. <laughs> I love it. I think it's amazing. I love the fact that it's matte. I think it's something new. I think the lines are nice and clean and very contemporary. Yeah. Are you using it for both bathrooms? No, we have <laughs> two colors. <laughs> so black in the one and champagne in the next. Yeah, we are going with champagne in our master in suit bathroom simply because I mean it's an end suit a little bit more elegant sophisticated and class we just want to wow the people that get to go to that particular room I love champagne and I'm so glad to see you've come really far from when I saw you last and I think you've got a great plan that you're gonna make happen oh, yeah. thank, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> we're excited <laughs> This is my favorite part of the shopping, when I take out my cart and I just swipe. Swipe! Yes! <laughs> More shopping for us. Girls love to shop, man. Yeah. And trust me, those girls do love to shop. Now remember, entering the grand prize competition puts you in line to win your choice of one of the three apartments as completed by our design duos. No swiping required. And make sure that you enter right now. It's really simple to do. You go to the private property website, privateproperty.co.za. You'll see if I scroll down slightly, there's this little winner home icon you'll see on the left-hand side. You literally tap that icon, it'll load a brand new page for you where you can start to enter. Literally scroll down to the bottom, you'll see all the T's and C's, all the competition details the grand prize, what you can be winning. Then at the bottom it says here, yeah, enter the competition, check out the T's and C's, and you'll see it's right over here. Gosh, it's so far down to the bottom.
I would have clicked the actual enter now competition. So at the bottom here, there's a whole bunch of things like your episodes, your news, your winners. You fill in all of your details and you click the enter now competition. Once that little icon has been pressed, you'll automatically be entered into that grand prize draw. Now more drama from the bathroom challenge will be coming up after the break, so don't go anywhere. Stay connected by easily and effortlessly answering calls, tracking your fitness and playing music all from your wrist using the new Galaxy Watch. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Mzansi, welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. We are live, and as the design duos work around the clock to complete two bathroom spaces in one challenge, nothing relieves the stress of life on site quite like a little bit of shopping. Valence this morning, got to get uh, some lights. We've been struggling to find some, but hopefully Valence will hook us up. We gotta get moving. Gotta get on it. Yo, what about this? It could work. It could, Vitruvial man. It's a no. Okay. It's a no. It's a... So many lights to choose from. We just having fun right now, but we need to get something like ASAP. I think I, ha I have an idea. Ooh. Yes, these could really work, eh? These are the lights, bro. This could seriously work, and they'll throw light everywhere. It's gonna be like, so round and organic. It actually works well with our wallpaper. Yeah. And everyone likes balloons. If someone's angry, shout balloon. It balloon. works. It works. While we're here, we thought we might as well grab some uh, little staging elements, some decorative items to kind of Ooh. really entice the judges into feeling warm in our space. Done. Some Danish soap, bro. Yes, bro. All I need now is a glass of whiskey and a cigar, and I'll be in heaven. This guy, while I'm like out here trying to smell all the candles, trying to get the ambiance, he's out here doing cartwheels. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Successful trip to Valence, as usual. It's been fun. It's been so fun. But now we got to get back to sight. Staying true to our permaculture principles and making use of what we have at hand, we decided to go and salvage some slate roof tiles from the salvage yard to use in tiling throughout our bathrooms. This looks like a Saturday night braai, like you know the bottom of the braai what you finish? <laughs> yes, for yes. sure. It is, it is, but we're getting there. What is this? We are just washing some of our reclaimed uh, slate roof tiles, so we're just getting them clean of all the dust so we can get them up and on the walls. Now what exactly are reclaimed tiles? So these used to be roof tiles on a building that's obviously been demolished and these have been salvaged and yeah these are natural slate stone and looking gorgeous and we are really amped to be using them. Where is your partner in crime Sinead? Is she busy? Yes she's actually in one of the bathrooms now prepping for us to get this next batch up. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah yeah of course. Let's go take a look. We still have quite a bit to still do. We need to finish off our tiling. Lots of washing of those tiles has to happen before we can seal them. Sinead! How's it hey going? Hey, Dad, how are you doing? Good, and you? Good, thank you. This is looking so cool. I'm in love with it. Absolutely in love with my bathroom. It's beautiful. What can I expect to see once this is all complete? I think you should wait and see, Dan. Um, and you should also get out of here because I've got lots of cleaning to do. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Danilo's little visit today was definitely better timing than the last challenge, but that's not to say we don't still have a ton of stuff to do, so we definitely can't get complacent. No, not at all. Yeah, we're really hoping that everything goes according to plan. And if not, we're in hot water. So it's halfway mark and our tiles are going up, uh, our paint is almost done mm. and it's, it's coming together, it's all working. 
It's our egg. Hey. Yay. Yay. Am I ready for my shower? I'm ready. Looking yeah. good. Coming yeah. together. Yeah. We are. Now, when it came to planning your bathrooms, right, you guys were having last minute idea changes. Have you made up your mind? Do you know what's going to happen? Oh, yes, we have. Yeah, we just hope we've made the right decision. Yeah, but uh, everything is coming together and it's looking well. So, yeah. What about the contrast between the two places? Are you going to play with different styles? Oh yes, yes, definitely. There's going to be different aesthetics. The one we are in currently is a bit more neutral. The palette is very neutral. We're drawing the inspiration from our guest bedroom. And then the next one is a bit of a surprise, but just think champagne. Yes. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> it's all I can say. <laughs> from the last challenge, the judges wanted you to incorporate more custom design elements in your rooms. Have you tried that in these bathrooms? Oh yes. Um, so we have a shower in our shower that we are collaborating with Caesar Stone, which is going to come in. And then we also have like little storage boxes, which are also Caesar Stone. And we're just making bolder choices with color. I mean, it's the second uh, you know um, time around that we're doing this. We're getting a bit more confident. I want to see some more of that sass. Get back to work. Yeah, yes, we should. <laughs> Every time Dan pops in, you know it's reality check time. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we still have so much. You did mention the thing about bespoke pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope you finish on time. You know. What do you think? And at this point, I'm not sure if we're going to get it done in time, eh? Mm. Uh. It's one of my favorite things, making those contestants nervous at the halfway mark. Let us know your thoughts on social media. I'll be reading some of your comments soon. But those of you who did try to uh, vote for your favorite design duo, enter the competition on privateproperty.co.za. And you might have wondered where the little button was. It is now there and ready for you to get voting. Privateproperty.co.za. Click on all the winner home information and you can enter with the big green button. Now let's read some of your comments live on air. And um, Bay Mashilo says, I love hashtag winner home show. There are lots of things I'm learning from property designing as well as painting. Uh, and then authentically me says, winner home show, winner home. I love RNK and more people should consider upcycling and pre-loved items. I love that as well. Thank you so much for that. Um, then we have mate Rocky who says, the gents are super focused on the challenge and they have carefully listened to what the requirements for this challenge are. Team contrast control are for me. Thanks so much for that one. Miss Page says, Contrast Control is actually collaborating with the best in the game. And I think that is going to come out, that piece is going to come out incredibly well. Uh, Zahira says, I love this. So versatile, yet elegant and beautiful. Great choice, guys. Team Contrast Control. The real question is, who is your favorite? You can tweet us right now, hashtag home, and you could be seeing your name on television. After the break, it's time for our weekly Capitech Open the Door giveaway, where we draw one lucky name from this week's entries for a chance to win amazing prizes. If you've Entered, stay close to your phone because it could be you. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to your favorite interior design show, Winner Home on SABC3. Now, my favorite time of this show has finally arrived. It's time for the Capitech Open the Door giveaway, where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries. And that lucky contestant will get to choose one of these doors and win whatever is behind it. Now, hidden behind the doors tonight are a 2,000 rand Carol Boys voucher, a mere shower head worth 3,600 rand from Flush Bathrooms, and a 5,000 rand Valance voucher. Now, here to open the door for us tonight, we have Rika Wurstey. Remuneration Officer from Capitec Bank. Rika, welcome. welcome. You've Thanks. seen how tough this competition is. Have you spotted some faves there? No, they all seem to be going a do, going a, doing a good job. Ah, politically <laughs> correct. I like a girl like you. Well, we have our lucky caller on the line. It's Deborah Easel or Yezel from Cape Town. Yeah. Deborah, welcome. Congratulations for making it onto the phone line live on TV. Now you've had the prizes hidden behind the doors. Which door would you like us to open? Red, white or blue? 
Um, I say blue, please. Blue, Rika. What's behind the blue door? Oh, I'm nervous for you because I want, I want a really awesome prize for you. Ah, oh, congratulations! It's a two thousand rand Carol Bars uh, Boys Voucher. Congratulations! Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's really, really awesome. Well, there's still lots to win right here, right now. Are you ready to win some more? Thank you, yes, I'm all right. Let's go. <laughs> well, Rika, now is your chance. As one of our sponsors for this season, Samsung is giving you the chance to win a second time. If you just answer a very simple product-related question correctly, you walk away with a Gear Sport watch worth 5,500 Rand. Do you play a lot of sport? Are you outdoors quite often? Yes, I am. Well, then this will be just for you. Now, take a listen very closely to some of the facts I'm going to read to you. This watch comes in two colors and a wide range of different straps and watch faces. It has a water-resistant rating of 5 ATM or 50 meters and can track your fitness progress right from your wrist. Now, to win this awesome prize, I want to ask you this simple question. Up to how many meters can you dive with the Gear Sports Watch? Is it A, 50 meters or B, 300 meters? Hey, 50 meters. Correct! Congratulations, that watch worth 5,500 Rand is yours. Uh, thanks so much for being part of the competition today. And it doesn't end there for you, all right? Thank you. Yes. Deborah, 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 you've yet got another chance to win something else. Another opportunity for you because uh, last week's cash prize wasn't won. It has rolled ah. over to a whopping 10,000 Rand. 10,000 ah. Rand, Deborah. Are you a capita client? I'm not, unfortunately. Oh no, Deborah, oh, no. you break my heart. <laughs> you break my heart. Well, listen, if you had uh, an account with Capitec, you would have uh, won yourself uh, 10,000 rand today. But that means that uh, the prize rolls over to next week. It's going to be 15,000 rand. And if you at home would like to be our next Capitec Open the Door winner, then you better stay tuned. Kola, uh, Deborah, I mean, congratulations. You are going to enjoy all of that. Congratulations, all right? Thank you very much. All right. Now, if you want to win, you can enter our grand prize competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Behind the doors next week are a 5,000 uh, 5, rand, rather, Durham paint voucher, a Caesar stone domino desk lamp designed by Dr. and Mrs. worth 12,000 rand, and a 5,000 rand valence voucher. But that's not all. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Part of Lane Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night you could walk away with the new Samsung Galaxy Watch with phone capability via Bluetooth, fitness tracking and interchangeable strap. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Winner Home, every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Ah, that's right. Get entering now. Uh, Team r &K and the Perma Peeps seem to have their work cut out for them from the beginning. And uh, now they are halfway mark to the double bathroom challenge. But where does contrast control stand? Let's find out. We're halfway through the bathroom challenge and the tiling is nearly done. So yeah, we just need to push harder. Yeah, had a lot of mishaps uh, with the physical building, but yeah. I think we'll be able to catch it back up again. We just didn't want people working on top of each other in those small spaces. Um, hello, are you guys hoping that the heavens are gonna give you an answer? Dan pops in as soon as we noticed uh, the light point was in a bit of a strange place. So we're gonna put the ceiling cup where the lighting point is and then hang the light off to the side with a hook to get it to the center. Light the whole bathroom nicely. At the halfway mark, I will be honest, it's looking a little bit bare. Are you guys going to be done on time? We definitely going to get it done. It's just going to take a bit of push, but it's certainly going to get it done before time. It seems tiling is yeah, kind of the thing that you guys are focusing on at the moment. How is the whole process going? It's going alright. It's basically done in this bathroom, but on the other side we're using quite a small mosaic tile there. So we've got to get the walls prepped properly first before we can finish up with our tiling. You guys have also got a collaboration coming for your bathrooms, right? Where are they going to go? So the wallpaper basically, uh, it will be going in both the bathrooms 
but in the main bathroom which you are in right now over on these walls wrapping up into that little nip there and in the guests just like the wall behind the mirror so that you can see it in your reflection. To be honest your energy looks really flat and you look quite nervous so I'm going to leave you to it, get back to work. Bathrooms are complicated as it is, um, but we've really had a challenging week. For today we had a list about this long, and for tomorrow we've got our current list plus what we had for today. So we'll just have to keep, keep dealing and see what happens. Yeah, it's very shaky, but we're gonna push. I'm such a big fan of their work. They're all doing incredible they jobs are. on site. They and they're working so hard. You see, they all look perfectly, you know, made up and beautiful in those shots. Trust me, there was sweat and tears before I got there. Uh, absolutely. I must tell you something. The one thing that I'm seeing watching this competition week on week is it looks so easy, but the guys seem to manage to just like keep it composed yeah. the whole time. That's Trust crazy. me. As this competition <laughs> is going to unfold, it's all going to fall apart. Our design viewers are going to be sinking their teeth uh. into a double bathroom challenge. It's literally anyone's guess whether they'll rise the top or sink down the drain. Get it? <laughs> ah, okay, well remember to vote for your favorite duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win your choice of one of the three completed apartments worth more than three million rand. Indeed, and thanks so much to all of you for entering the competition on privateproperty.co.za. I'm really excited for Deborah tonight. Mm. She won herself that 3,000 rand Carol Boyce voucher, 2,000 rand Carol Boyce voucher, yeah. as well as she also got herself that watch, that Samsung like, watch, yeah. which is so cool. Brilliant. If only she was a capital client, there was like 20,000 rand. 10,000 rand. And then next week's going to be 15,000 Rand. So I'm yeah. pretty sure if you haven't gone to the website, you better do so immediately. Privateproperty.co.za. Scroll down, click the little winner home icon, fill yeah. in your details, vote for your favorite design yeah. viewer, and you could be 15,000 Rand richer, plus a whole bunch of other prizes. It's awesome. Well, I suppose it gives you an extra week to head out to Capitec Bank and open a bank account so you stand a chance to win 15,000 Rand, right? Indeed, <laughs> indeed. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the show today, right? Yeah. Right. Well, tune in next week for more drama on Winner Home live on S. ABC3. Until then, from Tubbs, myself, and the whole of the Winner Home family, all we have to say is good night and get designing yourself. Mwah. <laughs> Next week on Winner Home, it's a last minute scramble as the design duos work towards completing their second challenge. This looks like chaos. I'm just hoping it, it comes together. With two bathrooms to design and decorate in only two weeks, will they finish on time? And will the judges be blown away by their unique spaces? Wow. Watch all the design drama unfold with Winner Home, Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.